The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place. And we, when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. A former high school classmate and a close friend visited me in Tagaytay. We agreed to eat our lunch in a restaurant. And before we started eating, he asked me to lead the prayer. And so I prayed. After praying, she commented, Oh, I thought you would pray the common prayer. I replied, No, we Catholics also know how to pray spontaneously. Brothers and sisters, yesterday, Jesus emphasized the need for us to choose the better part by listening and being in touch with Him through prayer and contemplation. And today, He teaches us how to pray. We commonly call this prayer the Lord's Prayer. And this is one of the prayers in which other Christian sects accused Catholics of memorized prayer. However, reflecting deeply on this prayer, Jesus is not merely giving us a formula of prayer to recite, but He was helping us to have the proper disposition and mindset in our prayers. In this prayer, we primarily acknowledge that we have one God and Father. Acknowledging Him as our Father implies that we are all brothers and sisters. And because we are all God's children, we are called to partake and collaborate in making His kingdom be seen and experienced by all. For that reason, we have to share what we have with others, most especially to those in need, and not simply begging our daily bread from the Father. And since no Christian family member should keep a grudge and hate against another, we are asked to forgive just as God forgive us. Through it, we are not excluding ourselves nor others from the family. And together in our life's journey, we are called to show our dependence on God by entrusting ourselves to His loving protection. The next time we pray the Lord's Prayer, let every word of it connect with our hearts so that together with the language of love, our prayers will come and express into reality. Amen.